Okay, don't even know if this is gonna work, but I decided I'm out and about. I should video a little bit. I had to run my son something out of school that he forgot in my truck. Okay, he didn't even know where he forgot it. He just knew he showed up to school and didn't have his mouse, so. Oh, well, computer mouse, not play mouse. We don't, we don't mess with rodents. Well, I don't. I have three cats, they do. But, riding around in my lifted, lifted truck. To me, it's not very tall. The 2018 F-250 with a four and a half inch lift, okay. It's got two inch lift in the back. I replaced the factory blocks with entirely new ready lift blocks. So instead of stacking, which is what people traditionally do, I actually put one giant block. Even kept the tangs for the bump stops, which are these little perches that come off. But right now, I am uh, head to go and yeah, back to work, unfortunately. Anyway, back to the lift. The back's got so two inches taller. The front is only a three and a half inch lift. It's actually a hockey, one of those hockey puck lifts. I don't like that. I like, cause yeah, it made the truck taller, but I didn't gain any more spring rate or spring travel with the pucks. But I actually have some Icon four and a half inch lift coils which will give me an extra inch in the front, which will make my front and back level. And it should ride better because it's a dual rate. So the top is, the springs are closer together and the bottom, they're further apart. It's kind of cool actually. It's called the soft ride. So I don't know. I've owned them seven months and have yet to have time to stop and put them on. Mostly because it requires taking a lot of stuff apart. But my front end's starting to make this weird noise. It feels like something's loose. So I really need to go through and make sure everything's tight. I mean, it's been a year since I lifted it three and a half inch. So something's probably loose. I don't know. But I will go through it and check and see. And hopefully it's good. But I don't know. But also, I'm hoping I can find a little back road, should I say? And uh, I can have a little fun with my truck while I'm going back to work. You know, responsibly. In Mexico. Would never do this in America on public roads. No, no, no. You gotta be safe. It's the law. <laughs> oh, the joys of driving a big truck. You feel every bump. I don't care what they say. People, oh, my truck rides so smooth, so smooth, so smooth. You put wide tires and you raise your truck in the air, guess what? It's not going to be smooth at all. Can't help it. More tire means more surface area that's gonna to touch more of the ground. Well, I live in Louisiana. The roads suck. I mean, I literally just passed a pothole that you could lose a truck in. But that's okay. Let me pass this. technology that no one knows about but they do exist they're kind of nice so yay
slow down. Because <laughs> I do not need to run over a Ford Explorer that's in front of me. Might be interesting though. Nah. I actually need to take it easy. This is my daily and uh, 37 inch tires are not cheap. They're not, okay, they are expensive. Except for the ones I got on here. When I put, when I bought new wheels, I went to uh, custom offset. So I give them a try. They hooked me up with a great deal on wheels and tires. Okay, the wheels weren't that cheap, but they only paid like $1,000 for the tires. And they included mounting and balancing. They literally sent them to my door, ready to put on my truck. It only had about 30 pounds of air pressure, but it worked. All right, now we're going over an overpass, which we have a lot of in here in Louisiana. careful on these old back roads though. Uh, it's not a friendly place to go fast. Plus, in all reality, it's fun to go fast for a split second, but really, you do not need to fly down these roads. It's school day, so kids are in school, don't have to worry about that, but people don't pay attention when they back out of driveways at all. That old lady, I swear she couldn't see over the steering wheel. She almost ran me down. I'm just driving. Nah, I wasn't eating. I like to eat while I drive, as you can tell. But I was just driving. In fact, I just got off of work. And lo and behold, this old lady just comes flying out. I'm like, what the? She almost hit me. Then she flipped me off. It's like, okay, wherever you're going must be very important. Might be bingo night. Do old ladies still play bingo? I don't know. But that's okay. So. Or was it? Oh yeah, I'm driving. <laughs> oh. But back to my truck. So I told you what it is. It just hit 106,000, almost at 107,000 miles. When it hit 100,000 miles, I, delight, I decided to do a little weight loss. Improvements. Not because it was having trouble. This truck has run great. But my warranty was up, and I wanted to do something to make it run better and run longer. Because at my job, my truck idles all day long. I mean all day. It's always running. So all that idling is not good for a diesel engine from the factory. Because from the factory, they got all this extra stuff that just, it plugs up. It's not good, not healthy. But, if you have a warranty, I wouldn't touch it. I mean, I've had two Ford Power Strokes, and both of them, they ran just fine with all the emission stuff on them. All. But, and they're powerful. I mean, with 37 inch tires, about 13 inch, yeah, 13 and a half wide by 37 inch with big 22 inch wheels. I know that's not big for everybody, but for me that was big. Old country boy, no power loss, zero. Old Duramax I used to have, I used to have a 2012. It was completely factory. I put 35 inch tires. It was a dog. It was gutless, no power. Now I deleted, tuned, and it was like a skull today. That thing flew, but it didn't pull worth the crap. Again, I still know about the word crap. It didn't pull that great. So, plus, it was an extended cab, long wheel base. I wanted a prettier truck. So I got up into Fords. And I have to say, this 6.7 is a monster. Right now, it's probably about 600 horses with everything. It's loud. It's fun to drive. And I haven't done any rear gearing. It's still got the factory 355s in the back. And it's great. I mean, it is great. I might eventually change them out to something lower. I don't know, probably not. That's a lot of work. And like I said, it runs and pulls fine. I pulled 22,000 pounds with it. Yeah, I think that's how much the trailer weighed. No problems. Didn't even care. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know it was back there. It was 22,000 pounds. You're gonna know it's back there. It's 
especially every single time you hit bumps. And, uh, but I digress. Actually, almost back to work. Uh, maybe I'll film a video from my point of view wherever I drive home. I don't know. If you like to see stuff like that or more stuff like this, just me driving around talking, let me know. I, mean, I really want to start working on more stuff, but I'm still trying to figure out what all I'm going to do on this channel. Right now, it's just me doing videos. I've got an amazing wife who is very supportive. She's over here like, yes, do it, do it. So, guess what? I'm going to do it. So, I'll check back with y'all later.